Now to the measles outbreak, the country's biggest in 25 years. Tonight, concerned that it could get worse before it gets better due to a growing number of people moving against vaccinations. Once thought to have been eliminated, the disease is making a dramatic comeback. More than 700 cases so far this year in 22 states, including Florida and Georgia. Ann Schindler is on your side tonight, joining us with what local and state health leaders are doing and saying to prevent a local outbreak. Well, so far, only two cases of measles have been reported in Florida this year, but the risk is not far from the mind of health officials who are doubling down on their message to get kids vaccinated. Almost all of the cases in the current outbreak involve children, half of them under the age of five. But the decision not to vaccinate those kids was made by adults, which is why state officials are aiming their message at grown-ups. What do you see when you look at them? The magic of now? The possibilities of tomorrow? But look closer and you'll see the potential that only you can nurture. This ad is part of a stepped up campaign by the State Department of Health aimed at parents. The power to protect is yours. The local health department is also running this ad on public radio. Making healthy tomorrows possible with the right vaccines today. The ads are designed to combat fears stoked by the so-called anti-vax movement whose skepticism is fueling the outbreak. While highly contagious, measles are also highly preventable. The modern vaccine is 97% effective, but buy-in is necessary. This map shows how a single infection could spread through Jacksonville if vaccinations dropped by just 10%. Now, there are signs that this awareness effort is working. The pharmaceutical company Merck, which is the sole supplier of the measles vaccine, has introduced, uh, has, excuse me, has increased production in response to that increased demand. And if you're interested in checking out that measles outbreak map that we just showed you, you can find a link to it on our website, firstcoastnews.com. In the newsroom, Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.